Hello and welcome to this video by ComputerGarGar.com and in this video we're going to look at how to return the address of a cell from a lookup. So you may be familiar with using lookup functions in Excel like VLOOKUP or the combination of index and match to look for a record and return a value from that record. For example to look for an employee and return their start date. However, in this example, we're going to use such a lookup, but we're going to return the cell reference of what we find as opposed to the value within it, as opposed to its content. So in this example, we have a customer ID in cell A2 there that we want to look up on this customer's sheet, find said product, and return the address of column E there, where the city would be, as opposed to the value which in this example is Mannheim. So let's go back to our sheet and what we're going to do here is our lookup function we're going to use match. Now our example of what we're doing here does not work with the VLOOKUP function. Now match is actually a little bit easier anyhow but uh, a lot of you are probably wondering how do I do this with VLOOKUP? How do I VLOOKUP return the reference? Well VLOOKUP doesn't allow us to use the address function with it which is what we want. So let's have a look at what we need. So I'm going to put in this match function to begin with in cell B2 here and say that the lookup value is the contents of A2 and the lookup array, press the wrong button there, let's try that again, the comma, <laughs> the lookup array is column A on that customer sheet and you can see what's going on in the formula bar above here as I continue with a comma and tell it to look for an exact match which is the zero. So at the moment if I press enter the match function on its own you, you, you may be familiar with which will return the row number. So it's looking for the contents of A2 in customers and it's returning row 7. Now what we want is we want the address. I want it to say uh, what is it in this case E7. So I'm going to wrap around the match function a function called address where each job is to create a cell reference adds text from a given row and column number. So the first thing they're going to ask us for is the row number and that is what as just demonstrated the match function is doing for us. So I'm going to click on the end of that and put a comma and from the column number I'm going to put the index as number 5. So uh, that step there is exactly like you would do on a VLOOKUP where they ask for the column index number. So there's no surprise there, no difference. And there's nothing stopping us putting another match function there to find the column number if necessary. But in this example, I know I want city and I know that is in the fifth column. Return the, the address, return the cell reference from uh, the row of the ID and column five. Now I was going to put a closing bracket to finish this off, but you notice address does ask a few more questions, uh, completely optional ones. It'll ask you if you want an absolute reference or a relative reference. Uh, by default, it will be an absolute reference. If I put my comma there, there's its options. By default, it does absolute, and that's what I'm going to go with. But I could put a 4 to have a relative reference there. And as we move on, it asks you do you want an R1C1 style or A1 style. It's going to go A1 style by default, which is your classic cell reference, um, like uh, E5. Uh, not E5, what am I talking about? Um, E7, which is what this example is going to be. And the last question is whether you want a sheet text, where you can write thread, for example, and as a, uh, as a prefix, it will put that sheet name in front of the reference it returns. I'm just going to backtrack on that because I'm not planning on using any of them. I'm just going to put my closing bracket after the column number, press enter, and here we have the address or cell reference of a city for that customer. And if you change customer, this is just constantly bringing back the cell reference as opposed to the value. With the typical example that you'll be using this data to feed into another formula that requires that as its argument. Thank you for watching. I hope you find this tutorial useful. Please check out some of our other tips 
and tutorials at computergaga.com.